So hello friends, I'm Moom and today we're diving in the fantastic world of Linux and today we're gonna customize the GNOME desktop environment and make it look like the thing which you saw earlier. So yeah, let's get started shall we? Now the first and obvious step is to install GNOME tweaks and extensions. You know the commands don't you? sudo dnf install gnome-tweaks and there we go, it's already installed. Now it's time to install the extension manager which I suggest you to go with the website. Just enable user themes like that and then install dash to doc. Now we're gonna use dash to panel. There we go. 3, 2, 1 and there it is. Now I did a customization previously so yeah the settings are still there but we're gonna do it properly. So don't worry about that. And now we're gonna go for arc menu. There it is. Enable it and it should be right there in a minute and there we go. And looks like most of the stuff we needed is right here. Now it is time for the themes and icon packs. For this I'm gonna go with Orcus GDK theme. Go to the website linked in the description and download the zip file. And do the same for the icon pack. In this one I'm gonna go with Tela Circle icon pack. There we go. And download the zip file. And now for the wallpaper which I've linked in the description so don't worry about it. There it is. I've linked the wallpaper in the descriptions. So don't worry about it. Let's just download it. Maybe they have displaced the download button. Where is it supposed to be? Right there. Let it get loaded. And there it is. Now it is time to install all the themes, icon packs and any properly enable the wallpaper. Now let's first apply the wallpaper. There we go. Looking pretty awesome. And yeah, I forgot one more extension. Let's go to extension manager. That is Blur Marshall, the most important one which looks gorgeous on GNOME especially. Like really, in my opinion, GNOME is the most beautiful desktop. Right there. And there it is. So now, let's apply the wallpapers and all that. Wallpaper has been applied, it's time for the themes and icon packs. Extract the telecircle icon pack. Alright. Open the folder and right click on install.sh and run as a program. There we go. And now do the same for the for the theme which I've already in installed it. So yeah, sorry about that. And now it is time to apply but first let's customize the main thing. The taskbar. Go to dash to panel settings and now let's fix everything. All the stuff I did earlier. Let's fix it shall we? First go to the positions and do the things as you can see right here. This left box is the arc menu. I'm gonna go with stack to center, monitor centered. Then the date menu which I've turned invisible. Wait, we can enable activities button too. Mm hmm. Well no, I'm gonna I'm not gonna do that. Well let's go with the date menu. Turn the date menu to the top side and make it visible. Now it's looking pretty great at that place. And now it is time for the taskbar. Make it monitor centered and you have your pretty much taskbar. Now let's customize it shall we. First I'm gonna go with the app menu indicator which I might find. Where am I gonna find it? Actions, fine tune, where is it? Alright it's the arc menu. I'm gonna find it in arc menu settings. Well then let's just customize that. You can customize it according to your preference. I prefer it a little like this. And then the icon padding which is nothing but just icon size and do some animations like this when I've done it. You can copy the settings. You see that little animation looks pretty great. And now let me just customize this. I don't want dashes. The focused application should go with dashes but the unfocused one should go with dots. Like that. This makes things different when they're focused and not focused. Well then, now let's go to arc menu settings. And now it is time to customize it. First the menu button. Let me just increase the size first to match everything. Yep, this looks pretty okay. But I don't like this icon pack. So I'm gonna go with a nice one. A circular one to say the truth. Which I'm gonna go with... Um, this one looks pretty nice. Yep, but let's go with the distro. You can choose your distro here. I have Fedora and Fedora looks pretty okay but no. I'm gonna go with one of these. This one also looks pretty okay but no. Well then I'm gonna go with this one. And now it is time for the menu which I believe I'm gonna go with Windows 11 sort of thing. You can choose any one you like. There we have Windows 11. Which no. Like this does looks pretty nice. Okay then it's alright. 
there's nothing wrong with it but yeah there is one thing wrong it should be in the center so we're gonna go with fine tune um let's find if we can where we can change that right here menu location override bottom centered now it is perfect look at that nice we can change the height the width almost everything width offset well it is pretty okay there's nothing to change about it yep now everything looks pretty nice doesn't it well then it is time to apply the well icon packs and themes so let's go with gnome tweaks go to appearances now talking about the cursor you can choose any one but i'm gonna go with bibata the link is in the description and wait they have fedora has redesigned the website and it is looking pretty nice well leaving that just the same way you have to install the cursor now let's go to the icon packs go with tela circle i'm gonna with the normal tela circle yep this one looks pretty nice then go with shell i thought i installed gnome gdk but it isn't here all right i forgot to maybe well then let's install it shall we it's pretty simple just go to the website linked in the description orcus gdk theme download the zip file from here downloading open the file there it is right click on install dot no to install it properly you must run one command dot slash install dot sh dash l l means libet vita it will properly apply the theme throughout the system on gdk along with libet vita applications now let's go here and enable orcus all oh, right i have to restart the application first now type tweaks appearances it's already applied i know how but yeah go with orcus i'm gonna go with orcus light here and then legacy applications orcus light this looks pretty gorgeous doesn't it just look at that now let me show you this there we go that's what i'm talking about but you see there is still one thing missing and that is the blur in the panel so we're gonna go to extensions go to install app extensions and here is blur my shell go to the settings of it come on then it'll be loaded in no time just wait let me just close arc menu come on where you are here you are go to there it is now let's go to panel maybe there is something wrong with it all right i forgot how can i well there is then other things here and there which looks pretty nice but no i forgot the blur will be applied from dash to panel settings then there it is open it so where am i gonna find it right there panel settings override background transparency dynamic background opacity that's something i like but you see there is something i can see like if i turn it to zero then right how can i forget the orcus and if i turn it off then it's gonna be like that background panel background color then we have this gradient which looks nice why cannot i do that hmm? behavior fine tune position the panel thickness there we go just the thing i needed now what else do we have here go to style this looks pretty nice and the blur is applied there we go that's what i'm talking about this looks pretty gorgeous doesn't it yep well i was wondering one thing is there any extension for gnome desktop which actually adds a clock to it let's search for it clock fuzzy clock someone recommended me fuzzy clock from the comment section all right not that i want something for the desktop like what is this one no i want a proper clock it's for gnome shell fuzzy clock next no hmm notch clock offset what does that mean no well i believe let's leave it for now the desktop looks pretty gorgeous just like this and that's it i hope you enjoyed the video and if you do then subscribe for daily dose of awesome risk content uploaded on this channel and i'll meet you next video till then i'm signing out